Hello and welcome back. It has been a while. I apologise. I have been unfortunately very stuck with work, like actual boring as hell work. But I am back with this video. It is not a new bike. This is still uh, the continuation of the trip from last summer. And in this one, we are going down to Fort William. I know that map says we head to Glencoe in this one, but I couldn't cut it down enough. There was too much nice footage to see. I tried my best. And we actually stopped at Fort William, which is where this video will end off. <laughs> so this was us still at Loch Ness, where the last video picked up. Uh, this is just after we've left our Midrocket, and we're heading just towards Uckert Castle now. Um, this was one of the more disappointing parts of the trips um, because we didn't schedule it quite well enough. Uh, we missed the opening times for Uckert Castle for about five minutes. I was gutted. Um, I went there when I was a little kid and I actually loved it so much. The visitor centre there is something everyone should go and see and learn about the history of the castle and uh, just a bit of, bit of Loch Ness, you know, the, uh, the history around the area. Um, we did just miss it by literally five minutes. I was so, so annoyed. But these things happen and as with a few things on this trip, it is a great excuse that, to go back and visit it again, which 100% will be doing. just coming into Fort Augustus. Um, it is a beautiful village, it really is just a picturesque Scottish village and one of the nicest places to visit. This is again one that I was really disappointed when we weren't able to stop here. I really wanted to see the locks, I went there when I was a little kid and really loved the whole system of locks that they've got there which links the Caledonian Canal to Loch Ness. Um, now, hopefully maybe we'll go back and visit that one again, but you know, it's just one of these things we were running out of daylight really, we'd already been on the road for a while and we wanted to just head off to the next stop which was Fort uh, William. So this was just out of Fort Augustus, we decided to stop just for a wee break, um, I did obviously just say we were in a rush, but we just needed to stop, this has been a long day, we'd probably been on the road for about 9 hours now. Um, so I was getting pretty knackered, even with the few stops we had, it, it wasn't an easy going day. We were lucky, it was just such beautiful weather. So we stopped here, I cannot for the life of me remember the place, it was just a nice wee bridge and the old bridge on one side, the suspension bridge next to it and then the movable bridge for it to let the boats through. And we were coming across here and it turns out the suspension bridge is a little bit bouncy which Caitlin did not appreciate while I jumped up and down on it. Who would have known?
Y, which went head through arse some time ago, and I didn't notice it until we stopped at night. So, beautiful views, unfortunately mildly spoiled by a completely fucking destroyed fly. I do apologize. This is us coming into Fort William, our stop for the night. I didn't really decide till on the day that we would be camping there. We didn't book anything on the way or anything like that, just because I didn't know what progress we were making. I've never done a trip like this before. And it needed to be a good halfway point because we'd only put over the two days. This ended up working out fantastically. It was a really nice little place I have since looked up on. And I found out that it is the second largest population centre in the Highlands, second only to Inverness, and it is the largest town with a population of 10,000. Our campsite was just down this road here. Um, I can't for the life of me remember what it was called. It was really nice. We had a really nice evening meal. Um, we probably could have walked into town if we did need anything else, but the rest... So the restaurant site was really good, so we just decided to stay there and have the meal, have a couple of drinks at the bar, but we were so exhausted when we got through like a pint and a half each. And that was that was me. me, me, me. That, that was good. What a place to stay for the night though. I'm sure you've seen the clip a few episodes ago where we woke up. That was here, that we were right in Glen Nevis and it was so beautiful. It was beautiful at night and it was amazing to see waking up and and to be in the middle of just nature. I've not done that ever since I was probably a little kid and it was so nice and I edited this clip quite cleverly so that you didn't see that I got completely lost in this campsite because I didn't know where any of the hell it all was. Um, so yeah, this is edited so it doesn't look like I'm an idiot and I'm completely But we got there in the end so it's fine. And we finally got up to the area we were assigned. This is the end of this episode now as we arrive in this wonderful location. Next time we will be going through Glencoe and I'm not sure how to do that video. Um, so if you guys want to comment uh, down below and let me know if you want me to include a bit of the history of Glencoe. It's a very colourful, tragic and interesting one. Um, if you'd rather I just spoke absolute bollocks like I've been doing let me know that as well thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it see you again later